why does each person's story matter? Because no one person can or should shoulder the burden of helping us understand every facet of the human experience, mm. you know? My story can only take us so far. I think it's pretty important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if all these straight white men get to write these 400-page tomes, <laughs> the great American, whoa, 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 I'm allowed to say, yeah, I'm part of that great American canon, too. And if you want to, thank you. And if you want to better understand America, then damn it, you're going to have to go through me. But even still, mm -hmm. you know, I can only do what I know, you know? And right. so we need books from queer Latino kids. We need books from queer trans people, you know, in the Midwest. We need all of these. We, we need, you know, I was talking to a grandmother recently while in Nashville. And she was like, you know, my, my grandson is out. And I, we were talking about Matthew Shepard and everything. She was like, mm -hmm. maybe I'll write about being the grandmother to a kid. I was like, absolutely. We need all of these different facets. And so all of the stories are important. You know, and that's what's so wonderful about getting to this point now right. where I can, on stage, for example, disagree with Ellen. <laughs> because Ellen is no longer the only gay person on TV. <laughs> and that matters, right? You know, like Billy Porter and me, we can get up and talk about different stuff, Terrell Alvin McCraney, you know, all of these, Laverne Cox, Janet Mo that range of experience right. frees all of us to focus on talking about what we know. And we can trust that together our stories can form kind of like a net that will hopefully catch all of us.